there were also some light moments, and in fact, some hilarious moments. I recall one evening the uh, Mexican ambassador, the uh, Brazilian ambassador and I were in a room discussing the course of the negotiations and the next steps that we were going to recommend to Commander One and to the negotiator. The uh, uh, Israeli ambassador, uh, who was a colonel who had fought in every one of Israel's wars, was sitting in. He was my bunkmate and close friend and uh, wanted to hear what was going on. When suddenly the Costa Rican charge erupted into the room, went up to the Mexican ambassador and said, you know, I've had 35 years of diplomatic experience and as far as I'm concerned, you're just a snot-nosed kid. I was somewhat taken aback and I said, you know, if you survive this experience, you're gonna owe quite a debt of gratitude to this ambassador and I don't understand why you're reacting this way. And he said, don't talk to me. He says, I'm not speaking just for myself. I'm representing here all of your other diplomatic colleagues who are in the library and who are very unhappy at what you're doing. And he stomped out of the room. And I, again, taken aback, said, you know, we're gonna have to really reconsider uh, what we're doing. Uh, perhaps we're not briefing them sufficiently. We're not telling them what our or what our strategy or tactics are. And the Israeli said, you know, there's something not quite right here. Let me do a little reconnaissance of the terrain and see what's going on. So he went off into the library and he came back and looked at me, he says, you with your strategy and tactics. He says, you know what the problem is? He said, this morning, you and I were unloading the supply truck of the Red Cross. And one of the things we found among the goods was the fact that the French ambassador had sent us a case of champagne. And he says, you and I carry that champagne into this very room, and it's in that closet in the corner. They think we're in here drinking the champagne. I said, uh huh. So then Eli and I opened the closet, got the case of champagne out, carried it, to the library, dropped it in the middle of the floor and says, Thank you.